Welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. If you found this channel by complete surprise, well, YouTube probably sent you here for a reason. If you are into collectibles, if you are into action figures, if you are into dioramas, if you are into play sets, vehicles, anything of that sort, collectibles, you found the right place. Welcoming back all my cosmic followers. Thank you guys so much. Welcoming all my new subscribers here to the channel. If you are subscribed to the channel, you automatically become part of the dark cosmic universe where all this magic happens. All right, so before I get to the finds for today, because I did a toy hunt, um, I would appreciate you guys if you are new and you'd like to subscribe, that would be really great. That really definitely helps out the channel. Liking the videos, that always gives a huge thumbs up to YouTube saying that this is the place to be. Don't forget, I've got shorts. I also do, when I'm out there doing like toy hunts, I'm like, oh my gosh, like this would be cool, really cool. My Dark Cosmic family would really enjoy seeing this. Again, don't forget, please watch the videos, share the videos, talk with your friends about the videos, share them on your socials as well. That totally helps out. Check out the links in the description. I have an eBay store where I sell vintage and retro t-shirts that help support these toy hunts and all these purchases. And also, if you have committed that far, check out, there's a little bell icon. If you activate that bell icon, you will get notified when I talk about things like this. All right, let's get to what happened today. I went out to, oh my gosh, lots of places. I went to the game exchange, found some really cool videos over there. I also went to a place called the Toy Vault, found some stuff there. I went to FYE, I didn't find anything there. But yes, I came away with some really cool stuff and we will go over that. Again, if you are familiar with some of these places and I will give them a shout out on my channel as I normally do. So again, to the Toy Vault, thank you guys so much for having these things on the shelves that I was looking for. So, so appreciate that. Um, again, if you are new, um, actually, I spoke with someone over at the Toy Vault. They said, if you are looking into purchasing um, any of the stuff that you might see on the channel here, um, they have an eBay store. They also have an Amazon store as well. If you are into retro video games, check out Game Exchange. I did a video from them. Really cool place. I want to, again, I don't normally go to this area, but I just happen to be there today. And again, they are so awesome over there. They are, the customer service is amazing. Also at the Toy Vault as well. Um, they really talk to the customers. And if you are not knowledgeable about video games or any collectibles, um, they are really, really cool. All right, first and foremost, if you saw my previous video on the Zuru haunted house with the coffin, not the casket, um, I wound up showing this guy off. What I did not um, show in my previous video is that this guy has a gimmick little action feature. Check this out. This is really cool. I did not get to that last night. Uh, I was just so excited about finding that. So it's got a little feature on here. This is really cool. And the more I thought about, uh, again, I was really, really tired when I did the video. The more I thought about this, I was like, yeah, you know, this is really cool. It's uh, the Zombie Rex. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, like I said, really, really cool. Oh yeah, which I also didn't say. Um, look at his gut. His gut actually has, it's like really flexible. I'm not like, I'm going to be poking people in the gut to see, hey, uh, do you have a, a zombie looking gut like this? But yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, again, that was a really cool um, find for the day. All right. So and I also went to Goodwill as well. I wound up finding this, which was really cool. This was not in the picture. There was no way I could fit this in here. And there we go. Knocking things off. That, that I usually do. That usually happens here at the Dark Cosmic Universe. Uh, actually, funny, I bumped into Frank today, uh, the Frankenstein, because both Frankenstein... Um, and this jet um, also came from um, the Goodwill, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, it's missing some pieces on here, but that's okay. It still has the canopies over here for the cockpit. Um, they do open up. I, I was able to get them in there. Now, I'm pretty sure a three, uh, three and three quarter inch figure um, will fit in here comfortably. I might do a toy review on this. I'm not really, really sure, but I wound up picking this up. Where's the price? There it goes. $2.99. Still has the landing gear. Um, so it looks like there was a feature um, for an activation for um, some kind of a sound. Now, I've seen these before in Dollar General, and uh, this was the version I wanted. Now, mind you, it's missing the tail fins over here. I might be able to, you know, score um, 
a set on uh, eBay, but really, really cool. It's got a little uh, gun turret in the front. This thing is huge. Again, for three bucks, I said, absolutely. So that was one of my um, things that I picked up. And let's get to the back over here. Like I said, now this is a Ben Cooper inspired plastic Halloween mask. Halloween is, like I said, it's just around the corner. When I saw this on the uh, the shelves, just sitting there, I said, yes, please. Yes, thank you to this. Now, it does have a little damage in the front here. Um, oh, no, that's not damage. Okay, that's just the, uh, the markings of this. So if you are familiar, again, if you grew up in the 70s, like 80s, and you have these like plastic masks for, you know, your Halloween costume, your childhood was amazing. Now, I think this one was um, either at Target or I'm thinking it was more at Walmart. And they sold these last year and I didn't pick any of these up and I really should have. Um, but again, the reason I can tell it's not vintage uh, because the strap over here, it would have been more like a white strap and those things have been breaking left and right. Um, it's got these, uh, like a mesh netting in here so you can't see the face, which is kind of cool. And then also, let's see, let's take a look at the price. It was $2.99 and I said, yes, please. And I just happened to do a quick um, eBay search. These things can go brand new, like 24 bucks. And I love Halloween. I'm not gonna resell it. Um, it's definitely gonna be part of the, the collection. And let's go real quick. I'm going to go a quick vet, um, a black light on this because that's what I do here in the Dark Cosmic Universe. Anything that is black light reactive. So let's focus on the Frankie mask over here. Frankenstein or Frankenstein-like or Frankenstein's creature. And, you know, it's got a little black light reactivity. Um, the green is popping out. Actually, a lot better than I thought it would be popping out. And, of course, the white's going to definitely pop out as purple. But yeah, this is really cool. Again, this was inspired. This is one of those Ben Cooper masks. And again, like, it's not a Ben Cooper mask, um, but it's a retro um, type of Frankenstein mask. And you know what? That should have been a huge sign for me. And we'll talk about that. I'm going to save that to the last. But this was really, really cool. So glad I wound up getting this. I'm going to move this to the side. But uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. So um, over at, where are we, Toy Vault? So I wound up finding, this is pretty cool, uh, Rumble. Now, now, I'm not going to do any toy reviews here. Uh, this is just a quick, this is what I picked up. So they had it marked down to $12.99. I thought that was pretty cool. And you guys know if you followed my um, Black Major, um, Transformer, G.I. Joe kind of characters that I wanted to get some more. And yes, I know I've got some amazing followers here who have talked about different types of Transformer figures that I should uh, be looking at. And I will still be looking at that. But I thought my sound wave definitely needed uh, a little cassette character. And I'm going to get some more cassettes down the road. But again, for $12.99, I thought that was a steal. And if you saw my review on the Crow figure, um, I think it was from, I'm not sure if it was NECA. I think it was pretty NECA. No, I'm thinking maybe not NECA. And I'm just trying, again, I'm trying to remember. Um, but that four inch figure that I got or almost four inch figure. And I said, you know, I got to get a Bruce Lee figure to go with that. So thank you to the toy vault. They had this on their shelves. I looked, I looked, I was going through the, all the, uh, the super seven figures and there it was. So I will do a review uh, of this figure, which I thought was really, really cool. The iconic yellow, which has also been represented in uh, kill bill volume one and two with Uma Thurman. Uh, these are the other figures that uh, also they made, but this is the one I wanted. I wanted, uh, the challenger so again and i'm hoping if super seven here's the uh there's the upc so pause the video when you need to super seven if you are listening and i hope you are um i would love to see an uma thurman version of a, a four a three and three quarter inch um, figure which is really really cool all right let's go to the next thing again it's going to be a short video uh, i wound up finding spike Core. now this is from the retro line he had all of his weapons here or accessories, sorry. Um, he was in decent shape, and I think what probably happened is that uh, he the card must have gotten busted or something. Uh, but he had all of his uh, accessories. I will be doing a Masters of the Universe review, and I want it picking up for $9.99. These things normally go with card. Now, again, I know it's not carded, um, and it doesn't have the comic book, but you know, if you, and you, if you know about my channel here, I usually love getting figures um, that are loose. Well, you know, I mean, eventually they'll come out of the package. So this one already is, and I will do a, I will do a review on this one. Uh, again, like down the road review. But again, this is just like what I found. And 
with that Frankenstein mask. Actually, let's bring that bad boy back because that was, that was, this should have been like my sign amongst signs with Halloween. Um, speaking of the toy vault, look what I found at the toy vault just sitting in the loose section over here. I nearly like just dropped. I'm like, is that what I think it is? Um, this is a original Remco uh, Frankenstein figure. Uh, and I wound up, you know, just checking the joints out. This was loose. And I'm like, okay, so I wound up picking it up for, uh, it's like $19.99. These things go for like 40 bucks and above. And the condition, again, you know, was plus with shipping. Um, I will be doing a, definitely a toy review on this one. I don't know if I can see the, yeah, there we go. So we can actually kind of see, what does it say, 1980? I can't see it. Uh, let see. Universal Monsters, I see Hong Kong, uh, 1980. So I believe this is, far as I can tell, this is a Remco Frankenstein figure. I'm just like, I was like, no way. And again, I remember back when I was uh, a kid, when I saw these on the shelves, I passed on them because I got caught up in a thing called Star Wars. And I remember um, the superhero, hot mo uh, superhero, um, Super Friends, uh, Super Powers line, that was like really, really hot. And I remember I had a choice of either getting a, a Mo Universal Monsters figure or a couple of them. And I decided to go with uh, the Super, um, I guess I remember, um, the Mattel Secret War figures. And then I also wanted the, um, there was a Superman uh, jet that he had. And I actually wound up getting that. Uh, a little while ago uh, from the Superpowers McFarlane line. And again, I was like, oh my gosh, that was my childhood. Yeah, that was also in my childhood over here. And I was just, it was just sitting there on the shelves. This is like the second time that, again, I've seen this in my life. And I've seen him at toy shows going for a lot more money. And there it was, there was the Remco figure. And if you've seen any of my Universal um, videos that I've done here, um, especially with the Super 7 figures, uh, I'm going to try to... I finally have um, a Remco in my uh, possession. I'm going to do a quick uh, reveal on that and a toy review. Coming up, and again, I'm not going to for, forget. Uh, I'm going to be knocking into things. Seashell's like right behind me. So why not blame Seashell? Now, I did get um, some packages uh, in the mail. So these are things that are going to be coming up. So do stick by. We, I wound up getting some uh, Black Major figures. So this is coming up soon. Um, so I got the uh, the female troopers. I want to pick uh, like three of them again. This is just like a preview of things to come. Um, so here I got the uh, hazard one, um, also the uh, the one in the orange suit here, and we'll talk about that in another toy review. But again, this is just kind of like um, things that I found. And then I've been waiting for this one to come in the mail as well. Oh look, Red Shadows! Hey, you guys know the channel here. Uh, I've been like really hot on that this summer, and when I saw that one, I just like immediately. Um, picked it up and I believe I do have some more um, major uh, black major figures coming and I'll just show you real quick so again this is the up and coming stuff that we will be uh, reviewing here on the channel so I thought I'd give you guys a heads up anyway that's it that's the end of the video thank you guys checking out um, the toy reveals or actually um, what I got from my toy hunt I thought it was a really successful one I've got the itch to go back to another um, uh, you know, a flea market, not a flea market, but um, going back to um, a thrift store and see what I can find. Halloween again, I said, is just around the corner. I know I say, stay cosmically spooky, my friends. Um, and I am like in Halloween mode here. So please bear with me, guys, as the hunts go through. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I just, here it is. I've got the box. So here's the crow figure. I got the Bruce Lee figure, Brandon Lee figure. I'm going to put those two together. Um, so you guys, when you're side by side, I, I said I was going to do it. And that was one of the things I was looking for. So I will definitely be doing that. The figure's not in there. It's in my case. Um, that's why I can't pop them out. But again, we're not doing a review today. Just here's my haul for the day. That's what I did or what I got. And I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for just checking out um, what came through the haul today. Um, I've got the itch to go out again maybe tomorrow. I am not sure if that's going to happen or not. But I will definitely do that. Again, thank you guys for you know checking out the channel. Thank you guys for being subscribed. 
we are dancing our way, free falling and dancing our way to 1,000 subscribers. Um, approximately, let me think here, 20, I think, um, either like 27 or 28. I don't know, is it 20? Yeah, it's 20. I think so. Oh, no, no, 70. I'm sorry. Um, 70, 78 or 77 more subscribers to 1,000. And I've already been looking into what I'm going to be doing. So the studio is going to get a little extra um, added bonus when we get to a thousand. I'm waiting till that, uh, and it will happen. So thank you guys so much. I so appreciate it. All right, that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, again, it's just a haul, quick, a quick haul of video. I will do more videos, more you know, insight. But you guys get to see it. My name is Avian Savaz. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. To my Dark Cosmic family out there, if you are subscribed to the channel, which 900 and oh my gosh like 20 922 923 people have so thank you so much don't forget check out the shorts you become part of the dark cosmic family out there so thank you guys so much to my dark cosmic family my cosmic cosmonauts my cosmic comrades my insane toy collectors and also a shout out to my dark cosmic pokemon collectors out there just did a video on that you're most welcome what do i say say it loud and proud from one side of the galaxy to the other, and somewhere in between, there is the dark cosmic universe. Stay cosmically insane, my friends. Keep collecting those action figures. Keep collecting those collectibles. Go out in those toy hunts, and we will see you soon back at the YouTube sphere. Thank you guys so much. Again, just checking in on a Friday night um, to say hello to everyone, and I will see you guys back here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just again, a quick call. I'll do more of a review once um, the time you know once the time allows it, and I will definitely do that. Take care, my friends, and stay cosmically insane. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.